So there's been a lot of talk about historic cities and um, on the Facebook groups, on the chats, everywhere. Um, some screenshots of historic cities popping up on newer servers. I even sent a ticket to support asking them about the historic city event and they say they will be coming soon and sure enough, here it is. Let's talk a little bit about that. Welcome back to the channel guys. Um, I guess the rumors are true, we all heard about it. On Facebook, on group chats, historic cities being spotted in other continents, etc. And uh, now it's here. So this is going to be the Alexandria uh, historic subordinate city. Uh, range troop formation, marching range troop attack, and HP 30%. That's going to be a personal buff. Um, mounted troop suppression, mounted troop attack, minus 10 personal training capacity 10% alliance that's nice and personal march size capacity plus 10 that's pretty nice pretty awesome so this is in some ways similar to a regular subordinate city search event if you see here when a player takes a historic city created by a key he cannot use a truce agreement for 10 minutes uh, that applies you will still need a sub city slot to capture the sub city um, if you do not use the key the key will be used for you after the event time expires at a certain time period uh, similar to regular sub city search event however you can only own one historic city of the same type at most all right and also this is not going to be a percentage based event historic city event consists of several continents and the rank is each continent will settle separately during the event time players can get valorous medals in multiple ways players will be ranked based on the amount of valorous medals they get the top players will get the historic city keys etc now if you come here and you check the other three continents have no events going on or at least that's what I'm assuming by not being able to see anything. Uh, so Peak of Glory, which was actually updated, now is 3.11 to 5.13. Um, we have the event going on. Now if we go here, we'll see that the first place, second place to the 10th place, 11th to the 20th, 21st to the 50th, all the way to the hundredth place will get a historic city. Uh, 101st to 200 will get an epic subordinate city key, which is actually not a bad deal at all. Um, oh, 201st to 300. Okay, this is pretty nice. Up to a thousand subordinate cities, basically, of varying um, qualities from historic to legendary that's awesome i'm loving this back to how you can get scores or medals um so valorous medals um you can get them be the conqueror of the server place top five in server war personal ranking um so let's go here and see if the rewards were updated first place 114,000 and 300 medals. Second place, 68,600. Third place, 45,700. Fourth place, 34,000. Fifth place, 22,000. Does it keep going? It does. Okay, nice. All right. I actually like this. That's nice. More people get to compete. Constantinople. And Guagamala, 1,200 personal score and above. Okay, so let's see how much that gives us. Constantinople. All right, victory, 29,000 if your score is above 1,200. And for a loss, yep, it's the same thing, 29,000. That's pretty neat. Guagamala. 
Same thing, 29,000 victory, 29,000 for loss. So that's very encouraging that more people can actually participate and get scores. Um, this event started to feel wholesome. <laughs> I don't know what you guys think. Let me know. Uh, Monarch competition. All right, and we're going to look into that. World boss, single time damage. Okay. And gems return. So for the gems return, um, you will get valorous medals of the same amount of gems you purchase. And by gems here, it means basic gems. Basic gems are the gems you will get from buying a any package. Uh, the amount of gems that's listed up top. So here, 2,500. That means 2,500 badges. For the 99 pack... 25,000 gems, that means 25,000 badges. And so basically, they add gems for badges. And that's one other way to do it. Let's check the Monarch competition and see if it's for overall or if it is per round as well. Total ranking. Okay, so it's for total ranking. Um, round ranking. Nope, you don't get anything. All right, that's nice. 57,000 first place, 34,000 second place. That's nice. Yeah, nice. I like this. Awesome. I'm wondering if they're going to do this event more often. Um, I was actually happy to see it. Uh, this is pretty nice. You guys remember when I told you they give us way too many subordinate city searching events? It must be cooking up something. And I guess this is what it was. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I think this wraps up everything about this um, historic city searching event. Good luck. I hope you win some. And um, please leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And uh, drop some comments down below. Let me know what you think. Any future videos. What you think about this event. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.